everybody, this is Praxis, and today it's raining outside, uh, which was in the weather forecast. So today I've been planning and I'm excited to start working on this rainy day project I have up here, which is sealing this upstairs floor. I think this is the first time that you guys have seen it since I added that second coat of stain to it. Uh, if you recall first, I did a pass of uh, dark walnut stain, and then I wiped that all down to really get the, uh, the grain of the wood showing. And then I did a second thin pass of a golden oak stain to bring some of the you know more orangey colors out of the wood. Uh, one issue that I had with that second coat of stain is that uh, it seemed to, even though I, I tried to get on as thin as I possibly could and wipe it down as I was going, it seemed like there were still some areas where it didn't penetrate into the wood. Even after a week, there was still some tack to them and it was certainly shiny. That made me a little bit concerned because the seal that I'm using, which is this one right here, it is made by Eco Pro Coat. It's their Eco Poly sealer and finish. I chose this because of health reasons. I was looking into a lot of the oil-based uh, seals and you know, I just didn't feel comfortable with a lot of them. Uh, you know, invariably parts of them are going to get kind of scuffed up into dust. People are going to breathe that in. Some of them were even advertising that they have aluminum compounds in them to make them harder, but I don't want to be breathing aluminum, and this is River's bedroom up here. I certainly don't want him to be breathing in aluminum particles. So, uh, you know, I, I came back to this, but I was concerned because, you know, we've all heard the saying about oil and water and how well they mix, and I wasn't sure whether there's going to be a problem with putting a water-based seal over uh, oil-based stain that hasn't totally absorbed into the wood. If it had totally absorbed into the wood, you know, no concerns at all there. But, you know, I was a little bit nervous. If there's like kind of a tack to it, are they going to bond well? Now, I uh, let it sit for about a week, like I said, uh, and then I was just thinking, well, I got to at least test this thing, thing out. So I did a test. I took a little bit of this, on, uh, put it on the floor in a place that was particularly shiny, and uh, it seems fine. I, I let that sit for about three days, I think it was like three or four days, then try to rub it up. It seems like it's a totally uh, strong, perfect bond. Uh, now, I've done about half the room. I uh, did uh, these two strips between the windows and here. Uh, and as I've been doing it, I'm actually a little bit concerned because uh, as I've been putting down the water-based seal, I started with a roller, uh, but it was balling, uh, kind of like balling up on the surface, like when you have, uh, you know, like a, like a fresh uh, leaf that's like freshly grown and like the dew drops fall on it and they, and, and they won't, they, like the surface tension of the water won't break and, uh, you know, uh, absorb or, you know, fully wet the leaf. I was getting that where the water was kind of beating up on the surface, uh, which to me definitely says these two things, like oil and water, they're not wanting to, uh, you know, uh, connect with each other. And that is very different from the test that I did, which is sort of irritating, because I did a test specifically to find out whether they would bond. They did, and now that I'm doing the real thing, I'm getting some mixed signals. So I'm going to continue with it, uh, but I'm a little bit apprehensive about uh, how this is going to go. I ended up going to a paintbrush, because with the paintbrush I can kind of like push it in more. It seemed like that broke the surface tension and got them together. I don't know, you know. We'll see, I'll let you know later in the series how this has worked out. I'm hoping that it's gonna be fine. I mean, I, I did a test specifically to figure that out. I got data from that, the data said go for it. I'm going with that, but I'm getting some mixed signals now and um, you know, we'll see. I, I, I think if I, if I don't do it today, then I've definitely lost the day because there's not that much for me to do in here with it raining outside. Uh, it, although if I do it and I shouldn't have, then I'll lose a day in the future having to deal with like the floor all flaking up or whatever. So um, I'm, I'm designed to be optimistic about it and going for it and hoping that it's gonna be fine and I won't have wasted the day and I won't waste the day in the future stripping it up. But uh, yeah, we'll see later in the series. That's it, thanks for watching.